The cost of goods manufactured is the calculation of a company's total costs of production during a specific time period. It's also the total amount a company spends to produce goods, turn them into inventory, and put them up for sale. To calculate the cost of goods manufactured you can use a simple format. By following this format you will be able to do any kind of maths related to cost of goods manufactured. Here we are taking an imaginary firm named X Manufacturing Company. We will then create a box with two columns for writing amounts. Now in this box, we will calculate every cost related to production. To start production we first need some raw materials. We will use these materials and produce products. So what are the cost of raw materials that we used? We may have some materials that were unused in the previous period. We can use them now, and after some months of production we may need more raw materials, so we will purchase them. So here comes the purchase of raw materials. We got the total raw materials. Now we may get some raw materials that are unused in this period, we will deduct them. This gives us the raw materials used. Now after getting raw materials we will tell the laborers to produce the goods. So another cost comes which is direct labor costs. Here direct labor means only those who are directly connected with the manufacturing process of the product. Adding direct material and direct labor we will get prime cost. Now we got the material and labor costs, but there are also other costs that are related to the production of a product. That is factory related costs, or you can say them factory overhead. These costs are related to the factory. It could be indirect labor costs for those who work for the factory. There are some costs of the maintenance and repairs expense of machinery. Electricity bills, water bills, and gas bills. Also, you will find some depreciations in the factory, and other factory-related items will come here. All of them are called total manufacturing overhead. We will add prime cost and manufacturing overhead cost, and that will give us total manufacturing cost. Now, this is the cost of all products that we produced around the year. But some products might still be processing while we are doing this math. Maybe some are half done, or maybe some are ready but waiting for packaging. We call them as working process inventory. We will add the beginning work in process inventory, and deduct the ending work in process inventory of the year. That will give us the cost of goods manufactured. Now let's see an example. We have some information about X manufacturing company, we have to prepare a schedule of the cost of goods manufactured. So as we have done earlier, we will write the name and headings of the company. Then we will create a box with two columns for writing amounts. So here in question, we have two inventories of raw materials and a purchase of raw materials. So we will write the beginning one, add the purchase and deduct the ending one. These will give us the raw material used for 90,000. After that, we have direct labor of 60,000. We will add that with the raw material used, which will give us the prime cost of 150,000. Here total manufacturing cost is given, so we don't have to calculate them. The total manufacturing overhead is 90,000. If we add total manufacturing overhead and prime cost that will give us the total manufacturing cost of 240,000. Now we will add the beginning work in process inventory of 22,000 and the ending work in process inventory of 23,500. That will give us the cost of goods manufactured of 238,500.